Okay guys, we are dealing with drought here on the Southern Gulf Islands. This weather is actually getting stupid. And uh, as much as, like I say, I love summer, it's just monotonous. Every day I get home from work, it's just non-stop watering. We have to really watch our well because we run two accommodations on it. There's one of the accommodations there. And then the other one's up on the other side of the property. But uh, well looks good right now. There's still a lot of uh, water in it, thank goodness. Uh, looks like we got a really good well. It's never run dry yet, knock on wood. But, uh, you know, it takes a lot of water to keep the nursery alive. And uh, when I see uh, there's a chance of rain on Saturday, about one millimeter. So that's not going to do anything. And then next week's going to be up around uh, high 80s and then 90s all through next week again. It is a little humid right now. And uh, right now we're sitting at around just around 90 today. It was 30, 31 degrees we hit here. So... Uh, a lot of plants are really uh, stressed, stressed, some are dying, some have died. I know we've definitely lost a few uh, Trachycarpus palms, uh, smaller ones. I don't see any bigger ones that have died, but, um, and some of the perennials. So you really know what works here and doesn't uh, when you live on the Southern Gulf Islands. So all the plants that die are going to have to be replaced with uh, more drought tolerant plants. So looks like the yuccas are just loving it. Not a problem, don't even water the yuccas. Uh, some of the bamboo's really taken a beating. And uh, it burnt in the end of June. Camerops humulus palms like it. I do water those every so often. And so they're pretty happy uh, campers. But even without them, uh, without the water every day, they seem to stand up to more drought than the Trachycarpus uh, palms. So maybe plant some more. We're gonna plant some more Camerops palms, some more yuccas. And uh, looks like Labatera's done really well. Uh, bay trees. And get by with no water these are your cooking bay right here but it did take a bit of a hit in the heat and it does have some burnt leaves on it so we have a lot of bay trees they do naturalize here fatsias took a hit but still still very drought tolerant the fatsia trees extremely drought tolerant eucalyptus of course myrtle this is true myrtle that's been there forever and it's dwarf because it's growing in poor growing conditions rock and of course centromeles are beautifolia california holly does really well here extremely drought tolerant I don't even think it got burnt in the heat. It looks pretty good. And uh, Saracococa, Himalayan Sweetbox. So there's a few things that are extremely uh, hardy to the uh, dry conditions we have here on the Southern Gulf Islands. Timber bamboo looks pretty good, but uh, I'll show you this bamboo here. And Mahonia looks good. Rotos absolutely hate it. This bamboo is totally fried. I think it'll recover. It's just so dry. Uh, Vivax got a bit of burnt, but it's sending up canes. I'm watering that one as much as I can. And then this one here too got burnt, but it's hanging in there. And of course, cactus and uh, choice citronata Mexican orange. So anyway, I hear another frog. There's a few things that actually do tolerate the drought. And uh, eucalyptus, of course, I already mentioned that. But look at them, they're just thriving. You don't water them and they grow like weeds. That's what you need in this poor, rocky soil there's our soil that's what it looks like poor rocky soil that one with the barnacles from the beach but that's what our soil composition is sandstone and shale it is nasty so climate here is awesome soil here is crappy at this end of the island uh, but like i say there's some really beautiful uh, growing areas with i mean good soil areas on salt spring island our ravine is amazing but it's just too far from the house to uh, do anything down there so that's why i just spread the tracky seeds and let them grow kind of wild so this is a good one too nandina domestica Heavenly bamboo. All right, folks, thanks for watching and uh, keep your gardens alive through the drought if you're having a drought just like us here in this part of Canada. Cheers to you.